Hey, what's up creatures? It's Em. Today I'm back with another Creature Feature, the series where I tell you a little bit more about an animal which you may or may not know much about. If you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button down below, become part of the Creature Crew, and also remember to hit that notification bell so that you can keep up to date with all my latest videos. Also double check that you're actually subscribed because apparently a whole bunch of people recently got unsubscribed when they didn't want to be unsubscribed, so I don't know what that's all about, but check your subscription. If you are a fan of anything prehistoric or dinosaur looking today is an amazing video for you because I'm going to be introducing you to probably the most prehistoric looking creature that is still alive today. Today we are going to be learning about the alligator snapping turtle. <laughs> but where is my alligator snapping turtle? He's over here. Today's video is sponsored by Best Fiends, which is a puzzle adventure game. In the game you collect cute fiends which look like various types of animals and monsters, and you defeat slugs. Slugs. And you defeat slugs by joining together the same colours. Best Fiends is available on the App Store, over on Google Play, Amazon and on Facebook. The game is free to download and it can be played without Wi-Fi. And because it's the month of love, Best Fiends is offering some massive prizes as well as the opportunity to unlock new characters such as Orchid Mantis. I think you'd be a fiend because you're cute and the fiends are cute. Mind you, the slugs are cute too. That struggle when all animals are cute to you. Definitely use my link below which you can find in the description box. By using my link below you will get a free $5 bonus of diamonds and gold. The game is free to download so it's worth a try. It's fun. It's addictive. Be prepared. Oh, I'm gonna get a really good workout on today's video. This beautiful creature over here is Fluffy and Fluffy's not very happy right now because Fluffy feels very vulnerable when he's off the floor and out of the water. Fluffy here is believed to be anywhere between 7 to 10 years old but as a rescue it's very difficult to say exactly how old he is. He's not too big right now but as an adult they can get absolutely huge. He'll be about the size as a car tyre when he's fully grown. Although Fluffy looks very ferocious a lot of the time he's actually just scared. When he has his mouth open, that's because he feels completely defenseless and the only thing he can do is gape. He has no venom, no speed. He doesn't really even have the ability to tuck into his shell like many other turtles because he has a very small plastrum. He can't withdraw his head and protect his head and neck like the way that other turtles can do. So he feels very vulnerable. So when his mouth is open, it's not because he's necessarily an aggressive creature. He's just terrified of me, which is in part why I don't bring him out that often, because I feel sad that I scare him, but I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see a creature feature on him, so he's out for a little while, then he'll go back into his nice downstairs 500 gallon, yes. Fluffy is an alligator snapping turtle, and they're called the alligator snapping turtle because they have this amazing beak right there. He's gonna try and snap at me with that. Let me just move back a little bit. Now, Fl <laughs> Alligator snapping turtles are native to the southeast of North America. So you can find them in Louisiana, in Florida, and in Georgia. Although the alligator snapping turtle is native to the southeast of North America, they have been found in other places like Germany and the Bronx River. This is because people often buy them as pets. And when they're bought as pets, they're often very small and very cute, no bigger than the size of a quarter piece. But gradually they do get bigger and their bite becomes more ferocious as they get older. So people who buy them as pets get a bit overwhelmed and then release them into the river. Don't do that. If you ever have a pet that you need to get rid of, take it to a rescue. Don't release any exotic pet into the wild. It's devastating for wildlife and it can mean a death warrant for your pet. How much do I like turtles? This much. I like turtles. And there's nothing you can do about it. Huh. <laughs> Alligator snapping turtles like fresh water, so you'll find them in rivers, lakes, and ponds. They've got this incredible beak, and it's actually bone covered in reinforced keratin that can slice 
through your fingers. Alligator snapping turtles are reptiles, which means they are cold-blooded. Now, something that some people don't know about the shell is this is actually their rib cage. If you were to x-ray a turtle, you would not see any ribs on the inside. Over time, their ribs have come out through evolution and encased them around the back. So their carapace up here is actually their rib cage. At the bottom, this is called their plastrum. In the wild, the alligator snapping turtle can live up to 200 years. Some have actually been found with bullets from the Civil War in their carapace. The alligator snapping turtle is predominantly water-based. They very rarely come onto the land. The females will come onto land in order to lay their eggs, but typically speaking, they'll stay in the water for the majority of their lives. In the water, they have fantastic mobility. They do have these webbed feet and they're clawed. Those claws are really pushing into me. They are incredibly sharp. That enables them to crawl along the bottom of the lake or the riverbed, and that's where they'll sit for the majority of their time, underwater. The alligator snapping turtle can hold its breath for up to an hour, which is pretty incredible. Sadly, the alligator snapping turtle's numbers are in decline. That's partially because of habitat destruction, but also because there are so many more roads now. If you see an alligator snapping turtle out of the water, they cannot move fast at all. They're very, very heavy, and their feet don't have the muscles designed in order to propel them forward on land, which unfortunately means that they do get hit by traffic quite often. Now this shell here is very tough, but it's not enough to usually save them from a heavy truck. The numbers are also in decline because of the meat trade. In captivity, these guys are actually farmed for the Asian meat market for turtle soups. However, some turtle farmers break the rules and they actually go into the wild to find bigger specimens because they are paid by the pound. And because these turtles take a very long time to grow, farmers want to make their money now. So they'll sometimes go out into the wild, find alligator snapping turtles, which are quite large, and sell them all the way to Asia, saying that they're actually captive bred when they're not. Amazingly, in Asia, the alligator snapping turtle is now very popular as a pet. And in Hong Kong especially, there have been amazing developments in creating new colors or morphs of these turtles. I love his face. He always looks like he's waiting for you to get his joke. Hey, why did the chicken cross the road? Because he was feeling plucky. Get it? <laughs> Oi, don't be rude. Why would you do that? Now, although that beak is incredibly fierce, they're actually very shy animals. They don't really want to hurt us. In fact, if you were to step in water near to one of these alligator snappers, the likelihood of getting bitten is very, very small. The common snapping turtle, however, is a completely different story, and they will not hesitate to nip your feet and your toes. The alligator snapping turtle is a solitary creature. They only come together to breed. Now, Fluffy is an ambush predator, which means that he prefers to sit and wait for food to come to him. A bit like me. Alligator snapping turtles usually live in murky water and they've got amazing camouflage because they move so slowly and they are so sedentary that they actually get moss and algae growing all over them. And that camouflage helps him when catching food. He is an ambush predator. So what he would do is he would lie in wait, he'd open his mouth, he has a little wormy looking tongue and he'll open his mouth wiggle his tongue around, it looks like a juicy worm, and passing fish go, oh, yummy, I'm gonna eat that worm, swim, 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 just keep swimming, and snap. He bites down and he gets a tasty meal of fish. So that tongue in there actually gets used as a lure. I thought it would be interesting today if we explored Fluffy's bite force, so... I'm armed with a big cucumber. This cucumber, which was going to go in my delicious salad earlier, has been saved so that Fluffy can bite into it for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> We're going in for it. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh no. Oh my god, yes! And he bit into the cucumber, has a massive chunk missing. You've been warned, don't mess with the alligator snappers. Still a good cucumber. Probably should have washed that in after he ate it. Oh well. Eat your greens. Now I thought it'd be kind of interesting for you guys to see how Fluffy eats because you enjoyed that in the kookaburra video. So I have more shiners and we're gonna see Fluffy eat. If you're going to be upset about seeing fish potentially being eaten, you might want to skip ahead a little bit. 
This here is Fluffy's feeding tank. This is not where he lives. He has a nice 500 gallon downstairs. Um, this is where we feed him so that his regular water, which he lives in, doesn't get foul. So there's Fluffy in his feeding enclosure. These are his shiners. These are what we're gonna be feeding him now. Aside from fish, Fluffy will also get fed frozen mice. We thaw them out and we give him those a couple of times a week as well. So he does eat uh, dead food as well, but we like to give him live every now and then because it makes things a bit more interesting for him. And as mentioned in the Kookaburra video, they do have a great supply of B12. If you are gonna be upset by seeing a turtle eat fish, then I suggest that you skip ahead a little bit. guys found that interesting and not too morbid um, just remember this is what he would do in the wild fish would come along and he would snap at them thank you guys so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed meeting fluffy if you did hit that like button and also subscribe and share this video so that other people can see the joys of fluffy thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in another video soon bye with another creature feature the turtles and I got peed on which is another one of their defense mechanisms I'm gonna go wash my hands bye